Hi, and welcome to the Teaching Corner. Last video we talked about different uh, ways that you could use note cards, and I mentioned some color coding in there. But today I wanted to do an entire video on color coding and how you can use color coding to help students study for their tests and to stay organized. So the first thing about color coding is um, to use dividers. So um, you can use this in different ways. You can either have the student have one big notebook that has all of their classes in it and each divider is a different class. Or I have had where the students had different notebooks for each class but they were color coded and then they would have the dividers inside and like for every single folder that they had, maybe yellow was their homework folder and orange was their notes and red was previous tests and quizzes that they had taken or different things like that. But color coding really can help draw a student's attention to particular things. It can also, if they have multiple binders, make sure that they grab the right one before a particular class um, or something like that. I also showed you in a previous video about uh, using cards, note cards for students for studying and how you can use color. But I just wanted to go back over that you can use it either different colors for different classes or you can use different colors for different things. So when I teach an Orton Gillingham lesson, I'll use yellow for prefixes. So when we're doing a visual drill, every time they see a yellow card, they know that that's a prefix. Then we'll use green for root words. So again, every time they see green, they know that it's a root. And we'll use blue for suffixes. What I'll do with pink or red, I, I wish I had red cards, but they don't aren't very popular. So sometimes I've had pink cards, but I use these for what I call red words. These would be for words that are not phonetically able to be sounded out like the word said. And so we'll use these cards to sh show that these kind of words sort of break the rules and uh, don't follow along with a lot of our other Orton Gillingham rules. The last way that I wanted to talk about color is either when they're writing their notes, they could write notes in different colors or they could highlight notes in different colors. My one caution with this would be that sometimes I have had students, uh, especially female students who were really into color and got so into color coloring every line a different color that they sort of lost what was being ha what was being said in class. So you want to make sure that it's being used effectively, but you can use different colors of highlighters for different things. Um, you could like in English class use a certain color for character Characters and a certain color for dates and a certain color for uh, major themes or different things like that. Um, I have seen a teacher who used green for Greek and red for Romans. Um, so I know this isn't red, but they had red pins at the time. So using different colors for different things, again, will often help students to visually see and draw their attention to certain things. You just want to make sure with a highlighter, like they don't highlight the whole page orange because that doesn't really help them. You just want to highlight the keywords, something to draw your attention to a particular thing. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!